okay so we're gonna go ahead and jump straight into the tutorial slash review and just want to like do a little disclaimer for one I do have on a shirt it is a tank top so it might not show and two my lips are like super super pink because I did my foundation and everything already and then I just like wiped off all of that excess foundation that was left on my lips so they look kind of pink or like kind of weird but that's why my lips look like that okay so first we're gonna go ahead and grab our Kendall and Kylie eyeshadow palette so initially I did not like the first look that I created so I gave it a few days came up with a new concept and tried to do another look and when I tell you guys I hated that look even more I was just irritated with the entire process and everything so hopefully this time we actually get a really nice look from this so with that being said I am going to give you guys some of my feedback as I'm doing my makeup looks because like I said this is my third time using the palette so I keep seeing the same issue I'm definitely gonna have to let y'all know because I've used it too many times to kind of be like oh maybe it's this maybe it's that like no I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna start off by taking cup of tea and I'm gonna go ahead and use that as my transition shade. So one of the things that I noticed the first two times that I used the palette is that there is a lot of like kickback from when you pick up your shades. Now I don't know if that's just like the palette that I got. Maybe I'm just using, you know, maybe some brushes that might be too rough for the palette. Like honestly, I don't think that should mean anything, but there is just a lot of product that comes up when I like just do like two dabs. And of course you want to pick up enough product so that way you get the pigment that you want, but it is just a very, very crazy with the fallout, you guys. Like honestly, that will probably be one of the things that I do not like about this palette is the amount of fallout that it gives. And so we're just going to build this color up as much as we can because we want this to kind of be like a muted but like soft nudie type of look. And if I didn't mention already, I already primed my lids using my Tarte Shape Tape and I set them using my Laura Mercier setting powder. So now that's why we're just like jumping into things. So I really want to show you guys exactly what I meant as far as it having just a lot of fallout. Like look at that. That is like bleeding into the next color and it's just super messy. Like why? Like is it my palette or is everybody else experiencing this? So next I'm gonna go in with a smaller fluffy brush and I'm gonna take the color Brunette Do It Best and I'm gonna go ahead and work that in my outer crease. I'm actually gonna take this eye shading brush and I'm gonna go ahead and just pack on all of that color first and then go back to the blending brush and then blend it out. So now I'm gonna go ahead and take your tiny and cute, and I'm gonna take that with a flat brush and apply that to my lid. And then I'm gonna go back with that fluffy brush that we use for our crease color, and I'm gonna just blend those together. And I'm going back with that precise brush, and I'm just gonna go ahead and deepen back up that crease. I'm gonna go ahead and use my Tarte Shape Tape in the shade Tan Sand. And I'm gonna go ahead and take my 212 brush by MAC and my flat eyeshadow brush. And I'm gonna use a combination of both of these to help me carve out that wing. So I'm gonna just put the concealer on the back of my hand. And then I'm gonna start off with the, I'm gonna use the old brush from MAC first. And I'm gonna just go ahead and pick up enough product. And then I'm going to first start off with the wing that I'm creating. So I'm gonna go here. And don't drag your concealer, stamp it on there. like low-key extended that too far I'm gonna take this brush and I'm gonna go ahead and just for one clean that up so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to go from this corner and I'm gonna drag this all the way in okay so now I'm gonna take that flat brush and I'm going to take the shade runs in the family and I'm gonna pack that on top of that concealer And you're really gonna have to pack this on to build up the yellow because it doesn't just give you a straight like super mustard payout for the first swipe so you do have to build this up. So 
what I'm about to do is take that same brush that I used to carve out my wing and I'm gonna go ahead and just clean that up underneath now. Snatch that real quick. So before I go ahead and put on my lashes, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna finish out my bottom lash line. So we're gonna go ahead and take a cup of tea, your cute and tiny and brunettes do it best and just go ahead and smoke out the bottom lash line. Alrighty guys, so I went ahead to pop some lashes on and I put some mascara on my bottom lashes and I went ahead to pop some of that yellow color on my inner corner. So, what do you guys think of this look? I think this looks really nice. I feel like this look is really neutral, but you have like that pop of yellow there that really just kind of creates a focal point. And I really like how this turned out. Like I said, I used this palette two separate times, so I'm gonna give you guys my final thoughts on the Kendall palette now. As far as the Kendall palette goes, it has some really nice colors. I think for springtime, these pastel-y type colors are like gonna be super cute for recreating, you know, very, I feel like Easter is like the look that this palette just calls for. Like this is like Easter vibes and it definitely can be used for summertime because you have your yellows here and then you also have your orange and your green and your purples. So I think the palette as far as the color scheme goes, I think this is very nice. I do feel like I would use this if I'm doing a more soft and subtle type of makeup look, not necessarily like a bold look, only because it does take a lot to kind of build up these colors. I personally do not like how there was so much like indentation and just like a lot of fallout when you do use the colors. So I don't know if that was just my palette or if other people have, you know, experienced this as well. But that is one thing that I am really not a fan of as far as this palette goes. However, I do really love like the combination of colors. You have your neutrals over here and then you have those pastel colors and you do have a few shimmer shades at the top. So as far as this palette goes, I like the palette. I definitely will find myself, you know, using some of these shades in other looks with other palettes. However, as far as my recommendation on if you need to order this palette, honestly, sis, you can pass. I mean, there's so many, like, different eyeshadow palettes that incorporate all these colors. And again, as far as, like, the actual, like, texture and consistency of the eyeshadow pans, I really don't like how much fallout you get. Like, I felt like I was using up half of the product when I'm not really using half of the product. And it did leave like some indents inside of the shades, but that is my opinion on the Kindle palette. Let me know what you guys think. If you guys have tried this palette or if you were interested in trying this palette, you know, let me know down in the comment section. And make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe to my channel if you are not. And I am gonna be taking some fire pictures, so make sure you follow me on Instagram at I love you troll underscore, and as well as on Facebook at I love you troll love with two E's. And I will see you guys in my next video.